we're a separated people, all right? Come out from among them and be separated. Uh, we are, and this goes to marriage, this goes to business partnerships, it goes to anything where you have to be an equal. Now, you say, what can I do when I got married? Um, I wasn't a believer, so I married a non-believer. That is a totally different thing. That means uh, when you get saved, you are the promise that God wants to also save your husband, or if you're a husband, that he wants to save your wife. But this is telling if we are already believers, don't go and get married to unbelievers. Don't do it. I don't care how good they are, how this they are, you can't join together with them, all right? And, and it explains it. Christ and the devil can't go arm in arm. They're not in agreement, all right? So it says we need to, and it says, what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? See, God's temple is a place to worship God. It, it and the temple of idols, that there's... No, 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 no. Uh, you can't have anything to do with it. And our bodies are the temple of God. So we can't join with anything that is against God. We need to come out and be separate. So this idea, you can be a Christian and live like the world and go on and use your body for immorality, or you can do things, you know, in business life where it's not above board, there's sneakiness, there's underhandedness, whatever it might be. All right, no, that, that you cannot. If having these promises, what are these promises? That he will be our God, that he will recognize us, then we have to recognize him down here. By our life, we have to be the living, um, living body of him. Uh, he has to shine through us.